direction. Well, uh, perspective is all I can go off of, and I don't really remember what day one was like a year ago or the year before or the year before, so um, try to measure it and what I thought spring was like and where I think we need to be by the end of fall camp. And great to have more depth, great to have more bodies, great to have a, a relatively healthy team, and, and from the structure, the format, and retention, uh, that part looked good from the execution and precision and effort. Uh, that part has a ways to go. So I think knowledge of assignments was retained pretty well, speed of the game, and how fast we're playing, and how precisely we're playing on both sides. That clearly needs to go up, but maybe that's to be expected on this one. You mentioned depth. You have a lot of guys back from last season. How important is that now? Well, it just uh, I think what I was just sharing with the retention part, the number of assignment mistakes for the first day was very minimal, which is a great thing. But now the precise precision of the execution wasn't quite as sharp, but. Uh, we didn't have to do nearly as much teaching on day one as what we've had to do in the past. And so that should speed up the chance to get our game plans in and possibly accelerate our work on Old Miss maybe a little bit earlier if we can get the execution in and uh, those things to, to maybe match it at an earlier time as well. Only about a dozen newcomers roughly, so a lot less teaching to have to go on. A, a lot less teaching and, and the newcomers are now fourth or fifth on the depth chart. Most positions. Um, there's still some that are three deep, but most are four deep, and there's a couple that are five deep, and so those guys didn't get a lot of work today, and they probably won't, barring injury, etc. and that'll be a hard experience for them, but it's also reflective of the program's maturity, and it's been a while, especially in the line positions where we've had that luxury. Do you have the depth to overcome the, the loss of Matt Putnam on the D-line? I, I, I think so, um, and I, I, uh, at this stage, uh, I would stop just short of saying Matt is ineligible. Um, there's a chance he, a chance that he could rejoin the team the first day of school. He is still working on academics. He'll have to have some academic work and a uh, petition or a waiver. Um, so there's a lot that goes into it. Um, but there is still a chance. And so we're preparing like he will not be eligible. Um, but I also need to be make you aware that there's a chance the first day of school that he'll be coming. He's conditioning, he's working out, he's working on his schooling. Um, but right now it's a long shot. What's Jaden Wagner's status? Jaden Wagner um, has a slight hamstring strain, and he was working also on his uh, readmission. So by the time when he went to go to Canada, uh, when he declared to go to the Canadian League, and then some readmission, and then in the off-season workouts, he had a hamstring pull. He was about 65, maybe 60 percent. And so there's kind of a combination of two things. He's watching. He was out here basically in the gear just to support his teammates, but it'll be a while before he's with us, not, at least at full speed. Not fully cleared, though, in terms of technically either? No, not, okay. at least not up as this morning before uh, in my last report. Why did you uh, not run to the Y this morning? There was uh, a number of reasons. Um, one of them was uh, spring and summer, as you know, are times that we, we can't monitor our players. We can't see them work out. We can't check their attendance. Um, and I thought that it was really important with the format that we had today that the team and the coaches see exactly um, the level of uh, preparation our team put in going into day one. When you're at the Y, you see the finish and you see the time, but you don't really see from beginning to end every single player. And I thought uh, for this particular team at this stage, um, there's it was good for them to be accountable to each other and for the team to, to learn more about each other and trust more. Uh, going into our next challenge and, and uh, so rather than just greeting at the top, seeing them do it the whole way and decide what level of readiness we are as a team.